The apostles of Jesus Christ, men chosen not for their greatness, but for their faith, became the foundation of the early church. Each of these twelve men, along with the apostle Paul, spread the gospel to the corners of the world. But their mission was not without a cost. These men, once fishermen, tax collectors, and ordinary Jews, would face extraordinary trials. For them, faithfulness to Christ meant something more than life itself. This is the story of how they died, martyred for their faith as a testament to the Savior they loved. Peter, the rock who was broken, Peter, bold and brash, had always been the first to speak, the first to act. It was Peter who declared, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Peter who vowed to never deny Jesus, even though he would later fall short. But something changed after Christ's resurrection. The Peter who stood at Pentecost and preached to thousands was no longer the man who had cowered before a servant girl. In the years that followed, Peter traveled far, preaching in Judea, Antioch, and eventually to Rome itself. It was here, in the heart of the Roman Empire, that Peter's journey reached its end. During Emperor Nero's brutal persecution of Christians, Peter was arrested and sentenced to death. But Peter, humble in his heart, asked that he be crucified upside down, for he felt unworthy to die in the same manner as his Lord. And so, on that day, Peter, once known for his fear, became a symbol of unwavering courage and faith. Andrew preaching from the cross. Andrew, Peter's brother, was always eager to bring people to Jesus. It was Andrew who had found the boy with the loaves and fishes, and Andrew who had first introduced Peter to the Messiah. But as time passed, Andrew's missionary work took him far beyond the borders of Israel. Andrew's journeys led him to Greece, where his preaching won many to Christ. But his words also stirred up anger among the authorities. In the city of Patras, Andrew was condemned to die by crucifixion. His cross, shaped like an X, would forever bear his name, the ST. Andrew's cross. Yet even as Andrew was tied to the beams, he continued to preach, proclaiming the love of Christ to all who would listen. For two days he hung there, his body weakened by the pain, but his spirit unwavering. In death, Andrew glorified the Lord he had served so faithfully. James, the thunder silenced. James, the son of Zebedee, was a fisherman by trade, but his fiery passion earned him and his brother John the nickname, Sons of Thunder. He had been one of Jesus' closest companions, witnessing the transfiguration and being present during Jesus' darkest hour in Gethsemane. James' boldness, however, brought him to the attention of King Herod Agrippa, seeking to please the Jewish leaders. Herod arrested James and sentenced him to death. As the first apostle to be martyred, James' death marked the beginning of the apostles' sufferings. His beheading was swift, but it sent shockwaves through the early church. Yet his faith was unshaken. James had followed Jesus, even unto death. John, the survivor. John, the beloved disciple, lived a different story. He had been with Jesus from the beginning, and he alone stood at the foot of the cross, witnessing his Lord's final breath. John's life, however, did not end in martyrdom like the others. John's journey took him to Ephesus, where he ministered for many years. Yet, even John faced persecution. Tradition tells us that he was thrown into a cauldron of boiling oil. But miraculously, he emerged unharmed. Instead of death, John was exiled to the island of Patmos, where he would receive the visions that would become the Book of Revelation. His old age brought with it peace, and John, the last of the apostles, lived out his final days in quiet reflection. He died in peace, but his testimony still echoes in the pages of Scripture. Philip, the evangelist. Philip had a heart for evangelism. He is most famously known for his encounter with the Ethiopian eunuch, where he explained the scriptures and led the man to Christ. But Philip's ministry didn't stop there. Philip traveled through Asia Minor, preaching in places like Hierapolis, where his message stirred both conversion and controversy. It was here, in Hierapolis, that Philip met his end. Tradition holds that he was either crucified or stoned, martyred for his unwavering faith. Yet even in death, Philip's message continued to spread, like seeds sown on fertile ground, Bartholomew, the flayed apostle. Bartholomew, or Nathaniel as he is sometimes called, was a man without guile, as Jesus himself had remarked. His life, however, ended in brutal martyrdom. Tradition holds that Bartholomew traveled to Armenia, where he preached the gospel with great success. His success, though, drew the ire of the local authorities. Bartholomew was seized, tortured, and flayed alive. His skin was peeled from his body before he was beheaded, the horror of his death is unimaginable, yet Bartholomew never renounced his faith. 
His steadfastness in the face of such suffering serves as a powerful reminder of the strength God gives to those who are His. Matthew, from tax collector to martyr. Matthew, once a despised tax collector, became one of Jesus' most devoted followers. His gospel would go on to be one of the primary texts of the early church, guiding countless believers in their faith. After years of ministry, Matthew traveled to Ethiopia, where he continued to proclaim the good news of Christ. His bold preaching, however, angered those in power. Tradition holds that Matthew was martyred by being stabbed to death. From a tax collector to a martyr, Matthew's life was a testimony of God's transforming grace. Thomas, the doubter who believed. Thomas is often remembered as Doubting Thomas, the one who needed to see the wounds of the risen Christ to believe. But Thomas's later life tells a different story, a story of courage and faith. Thomas traveled to India, where he is credited with establishing one of the earliest Christian communities. His ministry was fruitful, but it also attracted hostility. Thomas was eventually martyred, speared to death by angry locals. The man who once doubted became a bold missionary, proclaiming the gospel to the ends of the earth. James, son of Alphaeus, the quiet apostle. James, the son of Alphaeus, is sometimes referred to as James the less because he is less prominent in the Gospels. Yet, his life was anything but insignificant. Tradition holds that James ministered in Jerusalem and was stoned to death for his faith. His quiet faithfulness, though often overlooked, made a lasting impact on the early church. Thaddeus and Simon the Zealot, the martyrs in Persia. Thaddeus, also known as Jude, and Simon the Zealot are often remembered together. They traveled as a team to Persia, spreading the gospel to distant lands. Their ministry bore much fruit, but it also led to their deaths. Thaddeus was killed by arrows, while Simon was sawn in half. These two apostles, united in life and ministry, were also united in their martyrdom, giving their lives for the one true king, Matthias, the apostle who replaced Judas. Matthias, chosen by the apostles to replace Judas Iscariot, joined the ranks of those who would suffer for the name of Christ. Tradition tells us that Matthias preached in Jerusalem and Judea before being stoned and beheaded. Though not one of the original twelve, Matthias shared in their calling, their mission, and ultimately, their martyrdom. Paul, the apostle to the Gentiles. Paul's story is well known. Once a persecutor of the church, Paul's dramatic conversion on the road to Damascus changed the course of his life. From that moment on, Paul became the most passionate advocate for the gospel, traveling far and wide to preach Christ. Paul's ministry took him to the heart of the Roman Empire, where he was eventually arrested and sentenced to death. As a Roman citizen, Paul was spared crucifixion and was instead beheaded. His life, from persecutor to apostle, is a testament to the power of God's grace and the transformative power of the gospel. Conclusion The apostles lived and died for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Their stories are more than tales of suffering, they are testimonies of faith, courage, and the power of the Holy Spirit at work in the lives of ordinary men. Though their lives ended in martyrdom, their witness continues to inspire believers today. The blood of the apostles was not shed in vain. Their deaths became the seed of the early church, and through their sacrifice, the message of Jesus Christ spread across the world. Today, we remember their faith, their courage, and their devotion to the one who called them out of darkness into his marvelous light. God created us to live in fellowship with him, but sin separated us from God. Because we're all sinners, we deserve judgment. But God, in his love, sent his son, Jesus, to live a perfect life and die in our place. Jesus took the punishment we deserve by dying on the cross, then rose from the dead, conquering sin and death. By trusting in Jesus alone for salvation, we are forgiven, made new, and granted eternal life. Repent, believe in Jesus, and be saved by grace through faith in him.